Hello everyone, this is me, Ryan. Some of you know me as John Doll. Right here in Tokyo, doing a Ghost Slayers report. Right now, we have a bit of a um, situation here in Japan right now. The Tokyo High Courts have just declared the uh, recent election that brought the ODP and all of Shinzo Abe's national agenda to power as unconstitutional election, but not declared invalid yet. The reason they made this ruling is because of a massive uh, imbalance in population among districts which has not been dealt with. The disparity is 2.9 percent between most populated uh, districts and least populated districts per number of registered voters. That could easily be dealt with, but it hasn't. This is not the first time this issue has been brought up on the high courts. In 2011, they declared the 2009 lower house elections to be unconstitutional, but again, did not invalidate the elections. Now, we need to remember, the Tokyo High Court is pretty much the only governing body that can invalidate an election. Well, so far, they seem to be just telling the Diet and the Parliament in general that you got a problem, you have a constitutional crisis, you need to fix it. None of those politicians are taking any action on it. Now, this could get a bit hairy, because currently there's a whole slew of lawsuits related to the past election as them being unconstitutional. The High Court has announced that they will make a uniform ruling on all lawsuits by March 27th this month, here in 2013. At that time, we could potentially see an invalidated election, and we would have to do this for the lower house all over again, okay? But that, we can't say if that's actually going to happen or not. So here in Japan right now, man, things are getting quite interesting with Shinzo Abe's government and their legitimacy. So we're going to keep a close eye on this and see where it goes. It could not go into send a dead road, or it could become a serious issue, and we might have an invalidated election in Japan and have a serious constitutional crisis. So we'll keep an eye on this one. Get this issue spread around and get people talking about this, because this potentially could be explosive. So until next time, guys, me, Ryan, here in Tokyo, Japan, checking out.